Hi everyone, today I have decided a bit spontaneously to share my sticker storage mainly because I had plans to film other videos but those involve sitting under my studio lights with the fan off and I didn't fancy that. <laughs> so today I've compromised in this weather and I've decided to film this video because all I have to do is turn my fan off for this rather than sit under a light and cook. So today I'm gonna go through all of my sticker storage. It's all changed up recently and I did share it over on my Instagram, which if you're not following me over there, it's at my green cow. And on my Insta stories when I was sorting through this, a load of people asked me to share kind of like my finished storage system. So that's what I'm doing today. I do eventually plan on sharing a whole desk setup, desk tour <laughs> thing because I've not shared that yet on here since I moved and everything has obviously changed as you can see from here. I'm gonna get straight into it and show you the main storage system for all my stickers and that is this middle column of rainbow drawers. I have three of these as you can see on my desk. This one is pen storage, this one is a bit of a mix really, there's <laughs> loads of different things in there but this one in the middle is just stickers. The rainbow towers are from the range but I think you can get them in a few different shops um, but they're by the really useful boxes, I think that's what they're called. They do a lot of different plastic storage systems. They only cost £10 each which I thought was a bargain <laughs> and the most handy thing that I found with these is that the drawers come out fully so if I only want to use the stickers on something I can take the whole drawer out and just have it on my desk and work on my project so that's just something that's come in super handy with these and why I love them. So before I had this and this sort of storage system um, I had them stored in one of these boxes, which is an Ikea one. This is my scrap paper box, but it's kind of similar to how they were stored. So I just had dividers and a load of stickers in this one box, which did work for a bit. <laughs> um, they were organised and I did use them a bit more, but they were just a bit messy and it just, it just wasn't ideal really. So what I ended up doing was upcycling the dividers that I used and I actually have used them in here. So from the top to the bottom I have shapes, food and mail, stationery and tech, animals and plants, planning, weather and travel, miscellaneous deco, and then boxes and banners. So each one of those was a divider in the box and obviously I've combined some of them into one drawer. So this one just has shapes in it. Um, obviously it's not ideal for like finding the one you want straight away, but they're all in there, they're all in one place and I can easily get to them and know where everything is. In the drawers that I have two different types of stickers in, so this one's weather and travel, I've used the divider as a lifting divider, I don't know what to call it. This is how I had the dividers in the Ikea tub and obviously it had the writing on the little tab and these were a bit longer but I've trimmed them down to fit in the drawer. So instead of having them upright, obviously I've just turned them flat and then folded the tab over and then I put a bit of washi tape over the tab so it doesn't have the writing on it anymore. So in the bottom of the drawer I have all my travel stickers and then I'll just pop the divider on top of those and then all of the weather stickers sit on top of that. So I can easily get to the travel stickers underneath as well as the weather stickers. So that's how the dividers work in this little drawer. And it's the same with the other ones. So I've got animals and plants and this one has a lot more stickers in, but I've got the little tab so I can just pull it up and get to the animal stickers as well as the plant stickers. So that's how I have most of my stickers organized. I've used my Dymo label maker to label all of, basically all the storage in my office desk space. That's just a preference of mine. The rest of my stickers live over this side. So this is my sticker shelf on this unit. It's a little bit messier over here. So in here I have pretty much my large stickers, so the larger sheets, the alphabets, the thicker stickers. So this box is one of the Kugis boxes from Ikea and it's the A4-ish size I think, but it fits all my bigger stickers in it pretty much perfectly. At the front here I've got another little box just kind of dividing things and in here I have like my loose alphabet sheets and just a load of random ones really, but because they've been in here so long I know where they are so if I move them at all I'm gonna lose them, I'm not gonna be able to find them. So yeah, I've got a load of random stickers, I've got my little Dovecraft sticker booklets, and then over here I've got all my Simple Story stickers and my little Bando sticker book. And then here I've got a couple of boxes of stickers that don't really fit anywhere else, so that's where they live. But that's my main big sticker box. This box is probably the messiest and a little bit mismatched. In here I've got my tiny TN and all my little tiny supplies because they did live in the rainbow drawers but I obviously use those so they've just ended up in here. I need to find them a better home but for now that's where they're living. The rest of the stickers in here are all my phrase stickers so basically any sort of stickers that have written words on 
um, things that I can caption pages with. Yeah, just a load of raised stickers. Um, I've got the bigger stickers at the back and then I've got all the smaller or loose stickers at the front. And then last of all, I have this one, which is so heavy, which I think I'm gonna have to put down, which is all of my sticker books. So I have my American Craft sticker books in here. I've got the Mambi sticker books. I've got all my Kiki K ones, I've got the Busy Days ones, I've got my own Condren one, I've got all the bigger sticker books that I don't really want to rip apart or anything. Um, they all live in here. So that is how I now store all of my stickers in my sticker stash. It's not completely organised and neat and tidy, but it works for me. And the rainbow drawers, I am so glad I got those sorted because it's just so handy having them there in front of me and being able to just get the stickers that I need. I found myself getting through my stickers a lot more and using them rather than hoarding them, which is good. Um, there are still some stickers that I will just always hoard because I don't want to get rid of them <laughs> But most of them are now being used which is good as always if you do have any questions Then be sure to let me know below. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this little mini tour and I will have my proper desk tour coming soon But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video